So next I'm going to show you how to um, give the inhaler. So Miss Holly here um, is going to demonstrate for you. She's new to this, so hopefully she doesn't mind. What you're trying to do is create a reasonable seal um, with the mask that you get around their nose. Um, so this one doesn't fit Holly perfectly. I'm ordering in a specific one for her, um, but this is just for the demo. So um, what you would do is you can attach your Ventolin, give it a little shake, attach your Ventolin to the end of the spacer that has a nice little bit that it fits into. You will then hold it over their nose with their mouth closed. Yes, good girl. And you're gonna give a little puff and then you're going to wait. Now what we're aiming for is about six to eight breaths that Miss Holly is taking while that's on her nose. Sometimes they won't tolerate that much, but that's what we're aiming for. And that allows her to just get in a couple of nice big breaths of that Ventolin in there. In most cases, we'd suggest two puffs most of the time. So you would then repeat it, but if you wanted to give her a break halfway through, that's fine too. So the idea is that we just give it a second to take some breaths and then we say good girl. You did really well then. So that's basically the setup. Super easy. Treats afterwards. Lots of rewards to keep it positive. Um, but as I said, most dogs and cats are really, really tolerant of this and it can make a difference.